Morning, how you doing? Welcome to the Laxton Homestead. Uh, those of you who know me, I'm Will. Those of you who don't, I'm Will. Uh, so today, I want to talk about how I pray scripture. As, uh, a piece of that scripture that I pray came across my feed today when I was uh, checking things online with my family in the different parts of the continent that they are. Some are in Tennessee, some are in Ontario, some are in British Columbia, some in Quebec. Everybody's everywhere, but we're not, uh, we're not next to each other these days, but that's not a big deal because God's everywhere, right? And God's good, just like the coffee he makes is great. So as an encouragement, I want to read to you today from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 20 or 21. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's do that. We'll do right to the end of Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 14. Just about there, folks. The thumbs and fingers aren't quite as nimble as I might have hoped. There we are. So when we get there, um, the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul writes this. Now I'm using the English Standard Revised Version, um, so it's going to vary a little bit from one version to the next. But Paul prays in the Spirit, writing, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints. And by saints, we're talking about everybody who tries to follow Christ with all their heart, all their soul, and all their strength. Let's be clear. So that you may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. That's Almighty God. That's nobody else's God but the God we say we believe in, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God the Father of Jesus Christ, who together with the Holy Spirit form that triune God that we believe in. And it continues on in verse 20, and this is the part that was called to my attention. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than we can ask or think according to the power at work within us, within us, because God puts it there, especially when we chase hard after him. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. So to me, what does that mean and what can that mean for you? Well, to me, the way I'm going to go through my day with it, and I hope that in sharing this, you guys do the same. We know we can trust in Him who is able to do far more abundantly than we can ask or think according to the power at work within us. God exceeds all of our expectations. He exceeds all of our, our expected answers to requests, even though we may not necessarily see that at the time. Now, I can tell you with a great deal of confidence that he's done that in my life. And I know that he will do it and is doing it in yours. So during this time when we have so much time, Let's do the work of our lives, and let's rest in God. That doesn't mean be lazy. It means let's not fret. Let's trust in God and be at peace, a peace that passes all understanding. Have a great day.